How do seemingly average people turn their skill set into a highly visible, highly profitable business? How do you proudly sell your best offers to the best people in your market? How do you attract, connect, and commit your dream clients to happily paying you premium price? Today, the best coaches, experts, and freelancers realize that icky, manipulative, non-consensual selling strategies just don't work and are now leveraging a new way of selling to accelerate our business growth today. Make sure to enroll in your free sales training at clientschallenge.com. I'm Sean Q, your host and high ticket sales coach, and you're listening to the Heck Yes Podcast. Hey, Sean Q here, and in this episode, I'm going to give you a secret to getting market research that actually matters. Now, this episode is going to be for those of you who have clients. You already are working with people, they're paying you, and this is one of our secret sauces. If you've ever been in Southern California, you know about In-N-Out. In-N-Out, one of my favorite burger places, so good if you've never had it. Make sure you have it the next time you get a chance to be in Southern California. It's just so good. In their burger, they put a secret sauce, and it's the thing that makes it remarkable, the thing that makes it so good. And the thing I'm about to share with you, the strategy I'm about to share with you, is one of our secret sauces for our business that just allows us to make it better and better, make our programs better and better, make the way we serve our clients better and better. And it's called, it's so simple, getting client feedback. If you are not asking the people who are paying you for feedback, constructive criticism, ideas, then you're missing out on a ton of profitable insight. So I want to give you a couple of questions you can ask your clients today. And I guarantee, like every single time we ask our clients, we actually have this built into our program uh, multiple times where we ask our clients for feedback. They give it to us and we're like, oh my gosh, we never thought of that. Now we can make it even better. Here are a couple of questions you can ask today to get client insight. Here's the first question. What about our program? What part of our program do you use the most? What part of our program do you use the most? We asked this question to our clients and we realized there was something we were actually subscribed to. We were paying a monthly subscription to so our clients could have access to it. No one said they used it. We realized we were paying for a subscription so we could serve our clients in a unique way and they didn't care. So we were literally spending money on something our clients didn't care about, which helped us reduce our expenses and save money. And so ask your clients, What about our program? What about working with me? Do you use the most? Second question. What is your biggest frustration when it comes to working with us? What is your biggest frustration when it comes to our program? Now, I know this is a scary question because clients will answer it. Like you're going to ask it and then you're going to get feedback. And when we asked our clients this, the biggest piece of feedback we got was they felt over overwhelmed. They, we were just giving them too much and it began to make them feel overwhelmed so much so that they didn't do the work. They felt like they needed to procrastinate. They, they felt insecure because they didn't feel like they were on track. And so what did we do with this feedback is we reduced the amount of things we threw at them right at the beginning. And we began to build a strategic plan for how we presented all of our course material. And so ask them, get feedback. It's so important so you don't continue to repeat the thing that frustrates them. I know it's scary, but it's super important. Okay, the third question. What would make you more likely to tell your friends about our program? What would make it more likely for you to promote our program? Now, this is a really important question because referrals are a huge part of building a business. It is the easiest way to make money because it's somebody saying, oh my gosh, you have to work with them and there's built in trust already. So you want to make sure that your referral score, your reputation is good. And you want to be able to get ideas on 
what would make it easier for our existing clients to promote us? When we shared this with our clients, they said, well, having like an easy affiliate pro program. So what do we do? We put together an affiliate program. They got unique links. So anytime somebody makes a recommendation and that person buys from us, they get 10% commission. So we incentivized it. it. We had some prizes and it's just so good being a brand ambassador of our programs. And so we made it easier for them. Get feedback on how you can make it easier or more likely for your existing clients to send you referrals. Okay. The fourth question. Do you have any suggestions to make our program better? Do you have any suggestions to make our program better? This will give you a lot of insight on user experience. Uh, when we asked our clients this, they said, yeah, if you taught about this, because I, I feel like that's missing from the program, or if you offer this kind of support, it, and, and the type of feedback they were giving us, it was like, oh, that's so easy to incorporate and implement. Sure, we implemented it the next week and we got like so much good positive feedback from everyone. So ask your clients. They have the best ideas on how you can support them better. And the last question is this. What is one sentence that would best describe our program? What is one sentence that would best describe our program? And what's gonna happen is they're gonna give you great copy to put on sales pages. They're gonna give you great insight on what they think your program does, and you're gonna be able to compare that with what you think your program does. Now, notice the difference. What you think you do and what they think you do could be totally different. The more aligned that copy and language becomes, the more successful your marketing is gonna be. So ask your clients those five questions. It's gonna be so good, so key. You're gonna get so much great insight. If you don't have any clients, Hey, guess what? When you do, you have questions you can then ask them. You're getting set up and prepared for that time when you do have those clients and they can come in. I'm Sean Q, your high-ticket sales coach. Was this good or what? Let me know. I'll see you in the next episode.